Okay. Looks like I got the first old coin today. Pretty sure it's going to be a weedy. But not positive yet. Yep. One cent. Get it cleaned up. Let's see what we got. 1928. Alright, I got another coin here when I flipped up the plug. Uh, it looks like it's down in this crack right here. I think it might be another weedy. Yep, it's just a memorial. Okay. <clears throat> just flipped the plug on this. Uh, it was kind of a jumpy. It was getting some high tones in there, but I think there's some iron in there too. But um, it's awful shiny. I don't know if it's stainless or um, uh, silver yet or not, but I guess we'll find out together. Sure does look like silver. Let me get it cleaned off, see if I can find a mark. Okay. Uh, I don't see any marks on it, but uh, still a pretty neat little piece, and it's always good when you can find a cross. I was getting a very, 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 very jumpy signal here, and um, I thought I was honestly digging a piece of trash, but it looks like I might have a very green coin, and I'm not sure what it is. Check it out. Oh, it's a stinking shotgun chill. Okay, it looks like looks like some kind of a Sunoco token. It says something about instant winter. Um, then it's got a Cadillac, an old Cadillac on, on back. I'm not really sure the year or anything on it, but pretty cool. I'll take it. Right back here at the old uh, home site, and I got a bucket lister that I've been wanting for a long time, and it's a beauty. Look at that. I scraped it a little bit, but that is, that is awesome. Very proud of that. All right, sorry about the wind noise. It's a little bit windy today, but checking out all my uh, farm field permissions and my first target. See, looks like a small musket bowl. Okay, got another find here. I think it's a little buckle. Well. Okay, I got something that looks old here in a hole. Let's see what it is. Sure, what that is. Well, okay, got another old find here. <clears throat> I just found a uh, little one of these a little bit ago and didn't record it, but got a nice parasol slide here.
All right, <clears throat> got another parasail. Okay, got something here in a plug. Looks like some kind of a button. Yeah, it's a flat button. Nice steel one. Okay, I think I got another flat button. Yep. Got another flat button. No shank on this one. Alright, I messed up my uh, first video where I actually dug this um, and popped it out of the plug. I thought I was recording, I wasn't. But uh, first sign of the day, I'm back over here at the uh, farm field. It's been about three or four days because it's been just so wet and I haven't had much time. This is ringing kind of low, about a 15, 16. And at first I thought it was a flat button, but I popped it out and it's, I believe it's an Indian. It's just really, really, really uh, chewy. And um, I might have to clean it up at home and see what I got, but good start. Okay, second find of the day. It's like a piece of lead. Yep, old flattened musket ball. Okay, been a few minutes. Um, got another target in the hole and Straight up about a 2021, 20, so I think it might be maybe a wheat. Uh, got a coin right here. Oh no, it's actually a button. Oh sweet, it's got some kind of design on it, like a floral design. Uh, no shank. I'm gonna clean this up. See what I got. Okay, got it cleaned up here. Let me find it. The viewfinder. There we go. Really, really nice pattern on that. I don't have a clue if it's anything significant or not, but really neat little button. Okay, got another find here. Sure, what I got, but well, it looks like maybe another button. Yep, uh, looks like it might have some kind of design on it, too. Get it cleaned up. Some kind of little floral design. Pretty neat. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna attempt to do a live dig here. It might be a little bit shaky, but this is about the purest signal I've got all day. Nice high tune. Uh, I think I might have a maybe a silver. something yes I believe it is a silver it looks freaking old I can't tell I'm gonna get it cleaned up get right back to you okay. got her sprayed off it is a mercury dime 1917 so that was a good call on the live dig um, not as old as I was hoped for but still a nice find glad to find it Okay, another uh, 15 signal here. 
you know, I already plucked it out of the hole, but uh, and saw what it was. It's a little, little flat button. It's like a little, teeny tiny one. see nothing on it okay uh, just flip this out of the hole I'm not really sure what it is some kind of little decorative piece I can't tell that it's got anything on it but I'm not really sure what it is maybe a I don't know if it'd be a keyhole cover or something like that or not but pretty neat okay a 15 16 looks like I got another musket ball. Okay, uh, got a pretty good signal here. Looks like I got another coin. I think it might be a wheat scent. Yep, there's Lincoln. Okay, then our good signal, and it looks like I got a buckle, a little small buckle. Yep, looks like it might be broke on one side. Okay, I wanted to do a um, cleanup video of the last few hunts here. Um, we'll start out with. The flat buttons have been fine. Uh, the ones from today, there's a nice little pattern on that one. Uh, and this right here. That was today. Unfortunately, no shank on either one of those first two. And then, let's see. There's a little little one from today and from the other day uh, another shankless uh, another one from from the farm field, all these buttons are coming from the farm field uh, that I've been hunting. Uh, this one has quite a bit of gold gilt still left on it. And then from today we had this nice little cutout button. Open work. Uh, too bad it was damaged. But nice shank on it. And Looks like it's had some kind of a flower pattern or something. And then from the old farmhouse the other day, um, got this Sunoco token. From what I understand, this was from uh, 1968. That's a 1918 Cadillac that's pictured. And let's see. Also from the farm field. Let's get it out of my box here. Uh, we got the cradle bell. I found uh, it's absolutely in flawless shape, other than where I marked it personally. Personalized it a little bit. Still rings. And uh, I'm trying to think. Let's see what was next, maybe. Um, also from the farm field, we've got the parasols or parasol slides, whatever they're called. Uh, some rivets, these little buckle doohickey things. Um, this is the find from the schoolyard that I thought was a coin. Turned out to be a shotgun shell. Uh, also from the schoolyard, this little cross, I believe it may be sterling. I can't find a mark on it, but um it's got a sterling silver look to it without a doubt 
it's got a little bit of weight to it too. I found this in the farm field, flattened piece of lead. I don't know if it was um, maybe possibly a poker chip or something like that. I've heard of them doing that. Uh, several lead and musket balls from the farm field. Some modern bullets, a few buckles. Uh, these pieces of, I'm not really sure what this is off of, but it's kind of curved. I've got a few pieces of it, actually. There's another piece here. And then I've got this little piece of, looks like the rim off of a cup or something, a copper cup or tin, brass, some rather. Probably, or well, it wouldn't be tin. It's probably either brass or copper. Um, let's see here. Internals of, I think, off of a pocket watch. Um, got this little thing I found today. Not really sure what it is. These look like they're riveted through, and then it's broke right up here on this part. So I'm not sure what that was. And then this from today too. Um, not really sure if that's a keyhole cover or some other decoration. It might have been a piece of horse tack. It, it actually looks like it may have been broke up here too. I was just thinking these things were found pretty close together. I don't know if they go together or not. Uh, and then to the coins, we have a, I believe it's a 1954 uh, weedy. This is the weedy that I found today. And then a the 1928 from the schoolyard the other day. Uh, and then this... This is an Indian head from today. Um, it's really tough to see. Uh, the better the, the back side's a little bit better. You can see the shield up top. I believe, from what I can see, when it's a 1960 something, um, I think it's a 64, uh, which is pretty cool because I think this is the first year they had a uh, partial that were the uh copper nickel mix and then the thick the wheat the, the fatties and then they also had um the first bronze and then the 1917 mercury for today it's pretty pretty wore out but that's it